so it is again almost five o'clock in the morning and I figured I want to make a potato um, today or make <laughs> I need to uh, cook potatoes I have already my pot available and let's now grab myself some potatoes which are in my cellar so let's grab these so I always like to um, grab sufficient amount oh, let me show you sufficient amount for two uh, meals so this is for both my lunch which I will top off with a lot of um, tomatoes which I have from the garden and um, cucumbers and for tonight I also want to make um, something with potato perhaps I will fry them uh, but let's um, just first cook them and use my hay box for it so first of all of course I need to um, yeah skin them uh, these are from my own backyard garden so um, I kn know that there's no uh, contamination in the ground and um, I could cook them with the skin on but um, these are quite tough skins, um, so I like to uh, get them off. But I, I'm sure you know how to peel a potato, so I will not um, film it all. <laughs> I will just uh, show you one. <laughs> um, so I have now peeled the potatoes. I will grab uh, warm water. I just used warm water. for um, the dishes and um, so I always like to um, use then most of the warm water that I need for today so that indeed um, I don't waste warm water that is in the in the pipes um, and I am now cutting these potatoes in uh, little squares and the reason why I do this is that you do need less cooking time if you just cut them up a little bit and um, because I will cook these in the hay box this does um, help with having less cooking time uh, I like to um, spare my gas um, because of course this is currently quite expensive and so the less I use my gas the better it is although I still like to eat nice um, having indeed the hay box doing part of the cooking for me um, is quite handy so actually the only thing you need to be um, a bit concerned about is the prepping time and the, the time it needs to have um, it cooking away in the hay box so I roughly at least take five hours um, to have this um, cooking in the hay box and um, sometimes it's a little bit more sometimes it's a little bit less um, but I always with this kind of pot and with quite a lot of liquid so if I would make rice or um, macaroni um, I also use um, the, the five hour rule so in the end this means for me that if I want to have a warm dish at lunch uh, this uh, means that I do need to make whatever I want to have for lunch and needs to cook I need to make it in the morning um, so with having it already at five I have actually eight hours in the hay box which is more than sufficient time Let's now rinse it a little bit. And so, because the potatoes will not um, grow in volume, uh, if it was rice I would use far less um, uh, water, but in this case I use um, sufficient water to cover them. And I want to add a little bit of salt so they taste nicer. This and 
let's grab myself. Let's show you around in my little house. And uh, let's grab some garlic. Um, do I want to add more? Yeah, I want to make two dishes, so um, I only add garlic. And let's swivel you around again. Um, I also grab some pepper. Uh, this one. So, some pepper. I always like it a little bit peppery. And <laughs> my garlic is really um, crumbled up. that will cook down something like this okay so let's cover this and let's swivel you this way um so i will cook this for yeah until it simmers um it doesn't need to be a full rolling boil it needs just to have the slightest simmer and that it's showing that it's oh yeah roughly 95 degrees centigrade and, and then i will uh, turn it off i will show you so this is actually the simmer i'm talking about so it's not that much but it's just sufficient so i will turn it now off and swivel you around it's a little bit dark in my in my house how can I put it? No. Let's grab this. Um, so here goes the pot. Uh, let's put it here. Um, so this is my hay box. It's in the corner with two little pillows. Um, so here does fit my I have it with a um, yeah, snake-like <laughs> um, cushion which I can also widen and this one is yeah, just a U-size version to truly make sure that um, there is as much um, isolated material around the pot and actually the snake is built with um, those foam kind of things and here in my little cushion but also in this cushion there are feathers <laughs> so sometimes these poop out and I have a lot of feathers in my house um, so yeah this is how I do it and this is indeed um, yeah how it's now um, sitting there for at least five hours but in my case it will be seven or eight actually and so it is ten minutes after one I have my lunch and so I will go do not mind the mess of the cushions but I will go outside to uh, pick up some of my tomatoes and perhaps some basil and um, yeah see perhaps some salad leaves and um, just to um, make my potato salad
brush, my produce. I have a lovely uh, gherkin. It's not a cucumber, but actually. shouldn't talk when I'm having the tab on. But it's actually, um, yeah, it's not a cube, yeah, it's a gherkin, I think you call it. Oh well. Um, so, let's cut these up and then get my potatoes ready. Okay, so I have here now my hay box and I'm going to get my saucepan with the potatoes. Lovely, lovely. So yesterday I made this uh, hummus which is still great. And I have here my potatoes and um, I will now get liquid out of it and use part of it to um, use for my lunch and the rest I will use this evening. It smells already lovely. Um, There were, was already um, pepper in it, that's why you see the blackness, and um, also some salt and some garlic, which I can smell, which is great. Um, it's good that I work from home and <laughs> don't have any matter in having my perfect breath, and so I will now skip in some of the cucumber and some of the tomato and also some of the basil which I have in the purple variety just for fun and the green one, the original one um, and so I will mix this together and I think I will add some herbs or spices and of course my hummus. Um, so this one is going on my stove just to um, get it there and let me grab some of my herbs. Um, so what are I liking? Um, paprika powder, I guess. Um, I'm out of curry, which is a bit of a shame. These are empty. Um, oh, perhaps some chili powder. And some cumin. Um, so I've grabbed three. Oh, you can't see anything this way. Mm. Here you go. Um, so, I have here some chili powder that I don't need to have too much from. And then I have some paprika powder, which I do love. And some cumin. Okay, let's mix this up and have a taste test. don't need any salt or something and so I will scoop 
scoop in my humus. always looks a little bit funny. I don't think I will tell you where it reminds me of, but perhaps you can guess. Um, so this is actually my lunch and um, yeah, I hope you had value in watching um, how I made it um, and that it's right easy to have a hay box to cook your potatoes.